to my channel where we start a lot of projects and never actually finish any. What you're seeing on screen right now is a bot traveling through space in EVE Online, and it's powered by a handful of different machine learning models behind the scenes. I am now affectionately referring to this as AI Pilot. I, I think it's safe to call it an AI now, considering what it's doing behind the scenes. Very simple. Uh, a UI where we can tell it what we want it to do. Beneath that, a bot engine that leverages classical software development techniques and machine learning to make decisions based on what it sees on screen and accomplish an objective. Now, EVE Online is very complex because there's lots of things that can be different on screen at any time. If you're navigating through a series of waypoints traveling through space, navigating one waypoint at a time, you'll find that that menu changes how the options appear change. And that's where machine learning is a very, very good tool for looking at an image, telling us what it sees in that image, and then telling us what to do next. And so this combination of six models where we effectively really we're just looking at menus and identifying what's best to select in the menu to make the next step really helps us build this bot. What we've done here in this project, and I invite you to participate, is this universal prediction class. This universal prediction class does several things all at the same time. A, it reaches out to the GCP server or uh, bucket where we have all these models stored and it will automatically download them to your PC. That's one. And two, it'll automatically resize, rescale, normalize those images for inference. So it can just spit out a classification and say, this is what I see on screen. That's what makes this really, really cool. This project also comes with a universal training notebook where you can just point it to a directory of photos and those photos are structured by their classes and it will automatically train a new classifier. And in this case, even upload it to the GCP for availability, right? This is what I like most about this bot project is we have a bot engine that is leveraging the universal prediction class. And this prediction class is dynamically downloading and powered by these models that are trained by over a gig's worth of image samples. So like, for example, to perform the most simple step navigating through waypoints, that menu can appear in, I think it's like four or five different ways, just when you right click on each one of those waypoints so to jump through the next uh, Stargate. Here we can say, hey, go uh, right here. So game state, this tells us like if we're in a dock or if we're in space or if let's say the servers are restarting, right? This will tell us what the game state is. Right here, we just pass in an image and we just say, tell me what you see in the navigation items now that we've opened up one of those nav menus. Assuming that we are in flight, we can see that maybe our options are dock now, jump through Stargate in the first position, jump through Stargate in the second position, warp to dock in the third position, or warp to dock in the fourth position. So based on what we screen, we see, we know what to click on next, and then we tell it, go click. This has been very, very successful and very reliable. And on top of that, behind the scenes, the universal prediction class, if it struggles to identify something, it logs it very effectively and it also saves that image. So if we need to go back and improve the model, every time the model wasn't confident in its decision, it saved a copy of that. So that way we can improve the model in real time. So I invite you to this project. It is out on GitHub. If you want to use it, it's all out there. You just got to, you know, I think it's Python 3.9 right now. And then the requirements file is up to date. The models are out there. It's trained on 1080p right now. I'm going to bring it to 1440p here soon, but it is trained on 1080p. You don't need a GPU to run this. You can run this entirely on your CPU. It's actually recommended because Eve, if you try to inference a model while running Eve, I think your whole PC, PC will just shut down. So uh, yes, it runs best if you're using TensorFlow on your CPU rather than your GPU. Anyway, thanks for watching.